Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Today I'm going to discuss keyboard shortcuts used in Zoom video meetings. I am a huge fan of Zoom, so let me run you through this. There are over 30 keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to give you the top 10 that I like, and I've even made a PDF file for you. So this will be on my blog post, and it'll be in the description of the, this YouTube video. So let's go ahead and get started. I already have a Zoom meeting running, so I'm in the Zoom meeting already. You're either the host or most people are the participant. So the big three, I call these the big three. You need to know how to mute and unmute yourself, whether you're a participant or the host, but this actually applies usually more to the participants. It is Alt and the letter A. If you notice down at the bottom left, it says unmute. Alt A is mute, unmute. So right now I'm talking, I'm sorry. Right now I'm talking and it says mute. So if I do another Alt A, now I can't talk. The next one is to start your video. That is gonna be Alt V for video. I can't show you that because I'm recording right now with my recording software, but it's Alt and the letter V for video. So I made a video showing Alt V and here it is here. So to start video, that is going to be Alt and the letter V. Hey, and there I am. The video has started. To turn off the video, Alt V again. So there is your video. Tip number three. So by the way, there are the first two. The third one, again, this usually applies to a host. The reason you're having a video conference or a video meeting is somebody needs to share their screen. That is Alt and the letter S. But if you're a participant, you still need that because someone may say, so-and-so, can you share your screen? So Alt and the letter S pulls up, share screen, and it's asking me here, what is it you want to share? If you had two monitors, it would say screen one and screen two. If you had three, it would be screen one, two, and three. I only have one monitor. If I wanted to share the entire screen, it would be this. But for this, and that's usually, usually what I do, but for this specific example, I just want to share that PDF file, so I'm going to click it because I already have it running. This would also be if you only wanted to share a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet or a Microsoft Word document, you would click on the application that would already be running, but there's share. And right now I'm actually sharing again my keyboard shortcut list. So I'm just going to hit stop sharing keyboard other keyboard shortcuts are still working uh, alt a will do the audio alt v is still doing the video but i'm gonna stop sharing by the way alt s again will stop sharing all right so those are the big three audio video and screen sharing the next two i like a lot too i want to pull up the participants so again this is whether you're the host or you're participating in the meeting. If you don't see who all is in the meeting, I'm going to do Alt and the letter U. Alt U will pull up your participant list. It's over here on the right. I'm going to do it one more time. Alt U, it disappeared and now it's back. If there were seven people in this meeting, I would see all seven. I can see whether their microphone is muted or unmuted. I can also see whether their video camera is turned on or turned off. Now, I'm going to, as the host, uh, Alt A was the audio for me or the participants, but as a host, this is a host keyboard shortcut only, Alt and the letter M will mute everyone. Obviously, it won't mute you, will not mute you because you're the host, but here it is. Look in the bottom right corner, Alt M is mute all, Alt M again, unmute. If, um, little tip here from me, 
the participant panel is dot to the meeting. If you're okay with that, keep using it, meaning here's the meeting, the main meeting panel, and here's my participant panel. I always like to pop out the participant panel, and I usually move this over to another monitor myself, or if my screen's large enough, I'll move it away. But I don't like it docked. I'm going to tell you why. Let me dock it back. More. Merge to meeting window. That might be cut off just a little bit, but it says merge to meeting window. Alt U pulls it up and hides it. I have before clicked on this X in just in a rush, thinking I'm closing the participant panel. Then I hit end meeting for all and I just ended the meeting. That's why I like to pop it out. I'm going to hit cancel though and Alt U, I'm going to get rid of it. The chat box is also very popular. So Alt M, mute and unmute everyone. This is a host only. Alt U was participant. Chat is Alt H. There is your chat window. I'm just holding Alt H and keep toggling back and forth. Cool feature. If you want to pull up participants and chat, Alt H and Alt U. That's kind of nice right there. And you can chat with everyone in the meeting. And if you had, again, if there were seven people in this meeting and you're a participant, you could click here and just chat with one person if the host allows you to. So this is how you come in here and you chat. Hello or good morning, whatever you want to say. That's how you chat. It's that simple. The next one. So there's the chat panel. There's the participant panel. If you need to invite people to the meeting, Alt-I. This works whether you're the host or you're the participant if the host allows you to invite. Copy the URL. There's my meeting ID right here in Zoom. If someone asked me for it, I would just tell them. There's the copy URL and there's the copy the full invitation. You can also email it right up here. So Alt-I pulls up the invitation. Alt I. It doesn't, it pulls it up, but it will not actually close it. So that one doesn't toggle. Three more and we're done. Raise and lower hand. I'm going to tell you why I like this one. I'm going to throw a screenshot in here of me being a participant and I'm going to show you what a raised hand is. So as the host, I've come in here and muted everyone. So everyone's muted. Alt M. And if I want to see someone raise their hand because maybe they have a question about my presentation, I will see them over here in the participant panel. And this is what exactly what it looks like with a raised hand. So that is how you raise your hand in a meeting is Alt Y. And the last two have to do with recording. I can record either to the cloud or I can record locally to my computer. Alt-C is the computer, I'm sorry, Alt-C is the cloud, and Alt-R is record locally. So let's see if that one works. Alt-C. It's telling me I'm recording up in the top left, and it's got a little cloud icon. I'm going to stop that. I get this message here, do you want to stop the cloud recording? If I hit yes, that's okay. When the meeting's over, it'll be uploaded. Anyway, these tips, I appreciate your time. These tips are located on the description of my YouTube channel. They're also located on my website. If you have any questions about them, please let me know. I appreciate your time. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And feel free to subscribe to my website because I send out a newsletter. Um, got one coming out in March 2020. It'll contain all the upcoming webinars that I'm doing for free and where I'm headed with my video list. Thank you. Bye-bye.